Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm Kelly Lee Sappenfield, fifth generation metaphysician, speaker, coach, and teacher. Today I'm going to ask you, are you putting spirit in a box? What do I mean by are you putting spirit in a box? Well, we get into our human brains and our logical brains and we start thinking of ways and excuses that spirit is too busy. You know, there's a pandemic going on. God's a little busy, right? And it doesn't matter what term you use, spirit, God, the divine, goddess, the universe. If the divine is big enough and powerful enough to create universes and galaxies, and millions of species and water and air and everything else, then the divine is also big enough to handle a, a pandemic on one planet and also provide for those individuals on that planet to live their life that they want to live and to get the help that they need to live that life. So I've heard God's busy, divine's busy, universe is busy, spirit's busy. I'm just this little peon is basically what you're saying. And you're putting spirit in a box. And when you put spirit in a box, then you get mad because spirit's not working. And when spirit's not working or you're perceiving that spirit is not working, chances are you put spirit in a box. You said, mm, okay, you know, they're busy. They don't have time for me. Instead of saying, hey, I need this. Let me, I'm, I'm asking for this. Show me this. Guide me to this. You are the co-creator with spirit with your guides, your angels, the masters, the divine, you are their co-creators. You're creating and they're creating and expanding all of creativity as you create. So they want you to ask. They want you to put them to work. It's the same with if you have ancestors on the other side, or a parent, or a child. Say, hey, I need guidance. Help me. I want to create this. I want to manifest this. This is the connection I want with spirit. Instead of putting spirit in a box and saying, well, other people are lucky, but not me. Other people can manifest, but not me. Spirit's too busy helping all those people out because they already were born with a silver spoon in the mouth and they already have everything given to them, right? Wrong. Spirit is here for you just as much as anybody else. Doesn't matter where you were born, how you were raised, what religion you may have been raised around. Because religion is a man-made form of spirituality. Religion helps us get to become more spiritually connected. Do you have to have religion to become spiritually connected? No. But for a large part of us on this planet, you use religion as that conduit. But it doesn't matter doesn't matter which religion you are, where you were born, what continent you live on, what sex you are, what the color of your pigment of skin, or in my case, lack, lack thereof pigment, right? It does not matter. We are all connected to spirit all the time. The difference is those that realize the connection and have the doors flung wide open and saying, give me a sign. Help me create this. Man help me manifest this. I have an idea, but I have 
freaking no idea how to even begin. So give me some ideas of how to even begin. Doesn't matter what it is. The difference is your energy going into it. If you're going to lock spirit up in a box, it's kind of like locking the genie in the bottle. The thing is, and it's funny because when I lived in Abu Dhabi, anytime any, you'd go into any store or anything, they'd have magic lamps and genie lamps or whatever for sale, right? The store clerk would always say, now you know the genie's no longer in the bottle. And most tourists would look at them, what do you mean the genie's no longer in the bottle or the lamp? And they'd say, the genie's within you. And they were right. The genie has always been within you. So quit trying to lock the genie up in a bottle or a box or a lamp or any other type of container. Because you're locking yourself up. You're setting up barriers that no longer need to be there. That shouldn't be there. They have no purpose of being there. It's not like you go to the beach and it says infested with great white sharks. We're advised not to get in and swim. And you're like, oh, okay. Maybe I'll just hit my toes in, but other than that, I'll just lay on the beach and read a book today. Spirit's not that way. Spirit's not a great white shark swimming five feet offshore. Spirit is always there, always present, always ready to be asked so that you can receive. But you can't receive if you don't ask. You can't receive if you shove spirit in that box, close the door, taped it shut. It's not going to happen. Spirit could be sending you feathers and pennies and every sign in the world. But you've got this blindfold on. And you're not seeing it. You're not paying attention to it. Now, I don't know about you. But I usually don't walk that gracefully with the blindfold on. Usually if I have a blindfold on and I'm trying to walk, even if it's from my bed to the bathroom, chances are my husband's going to start giggling because I probably run into a few things along the way, right? Don't walk around with the blindfold of putting spirit in a box. Instead, walk around expecting spirit to show you miraculous miracles all the time. Opening doorways, allowing you to meet somebody, allowing you to have an opportunity, allowing you to have that idea, that inspiration, that spark that lights your soul on fire and gets you excited. But don't put spirit in a box and don't, whatever you do, give the excuse that, well, they're busy. No, they're not. Spirit is not too busy not to be able to handle everything you can throw at them and then some. Because let me tell you, they're used to all of creation throwing things at them asking to create, asking to expand, asking to grow, asking to evolve all the time. We're not here to say, oh, I'm sorry, spirit's in a box. So I'm just going to sit here. And maybe if everything becomes utopia, then I get to ask my question. I get to raise my hand at the back of the class. No. You're not back at the class. You're not in the back row. You're not in that god awful economy seat on a plane that's going 16 hours and you're shoved in the very back row in the middle. That's not you. 
Spirit doesn't think it's you. Spirit thinks you're freaking awesome. Spirit thinks you're amazing. Spirit is just waiting for you to realize how amazing you are. And that's not egotistical. That's spirit saying you're divine energy in human form. You came forth to expand, to grow, to create. You didn't come forth to say, hmm, what does it feel like for my soul to be inside a human body? And that was your only reason for incarnating. If that was the case, you would have lived maybe five seconds after birth, and then you'd been dead. So think about ways you're putting spirit in a box and how that is not serving you, how that is a limiting belief, how that has been blocking everything you keep saying you want. Oh, I really want this. Oh, I really want this. Okay, I'm nailing the box shut now. So think about it. And it doesn't matter who you are. We've all been guilty of building those boxes and nailing them shut and then wondering why nothing's coming out of them. The key is not to creep the lid open of the box, but to blow the box bloody up. Just disintegrate the box. That way, spirit knows, hey, they're listening. They're wanting to take action. If I throw them this pity, they'll know I'm listening. If I throw them this white feather or I have a bunch of dragonflies come up and sit next to them. Or if all of a sudden they get a phone call that gives them an opportunity or an email that they weren't expecting. And then, hey, they asked me a question. They asked me to go do something. Woo, I gotta do something, right? And it doesn't matter if you want to ask a specific angel or guide. It doesn't matter if you want to ask a past loved one that's on the other side of the veil. It doesn't matter if you want to go straight to the divine. Ask. Ask, 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 ask. Because you know what? The absolute worst thing that will ever happen when you ask spirit is them to say, I know you asked for this. But I'm going to give you this instead. When you ask for this. And this, mm, it'd be okay. But it's not awesome. And it doesn't really fill you to your highest potential. So instead, I'm going to give you this over here instead. And this is going to be make you wonder why you ever even asked for that. It's the only time spirit's not going to give you what you ask for. They're going to give you something that blows whatever you ask for out of the water. So think about it. Think about where you're putting spirit in a box. Think about this year. Well, okay, I guess all my 2020 plans are just for naught because we have a pandemic. That is putting spirit in a box, gluing it shut, nailing it down, screwing it in, coating it in cement, doing the whole nine yards. This is the year of opportunity, not the year of sitting back and just saying, okay, well, you know, there's a pandemic going on, so I guess spirit can't do anything for me. Wrong answer. Spirit's waiting. Spirit's waiting for you to say, this is my opportunity. This is my chance. What am I going to do with it? What? How am I going to take the reins and make this the greatest year of my life? Even if I have to stay home the entire year, it doesn't matter. 
I can still make this the best year. So think about it. Then when you're journaling what you want to manifest, uh, with each one, stop and just close your eyes and think a moment. Have I put spirit in the box around this? Am I asking, but am I not really asking? So maybe I'm afraid if I actually get it. Start thinking about where you're in unintentionally, unconsciously, throwing up those road barriers that are blocking you from getting whatever it is you want. Because chances are, spirit's been answering. Spirit's been knocking on your door. Spirit may be slapping you upside the head and say, hey, pay attention. So it's time to start paying attention. Time to start living as spirit, as your co-creator, as your biggest hero, as your biggest cheerleader, as your biggest asset, your secret weapon, knowing that the genie is here. The genie is within. And that's your divinity. It is directly connected to the divine and to spirit. So I'd love to hear how you have put spirit in a box, how you're going to open and disseminate that box. And what it is that maybe you were a little scared of. I really want this but it scares me because there's a lot of unknowns around it and the unknown scares me. So think about it. Think about why you've put spirit in a box, get rid of the boxes and start living the life you want to live. Start living the dream. Start being more connected to spirit. Start being a manifester. Start living your life that you have visioned and dreamed about like you're a little kid watching a Disney movie, right? Oh, if I could only be the princess and have the prince charming or whatever. So really think about it. And let me know if you need any help. If you wanted to email me and say, Kelly Lee, I know I put spirit in boxes and I don't know how to get past them being in the box. Do that. I'll put in the comments where you can sign up for a free discovery call, it's 30 minutes. I'll help you in any way you need help for those 30 minutes. Like I said, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is click the link and sign up on an available time. I also put in the comments that I'm going to be speaking virtually because of the pandemic for East West Bookshop in Mountain View, California. And it's going to be held over Zoom. So you don't have to be in Mountain View, California to be able to join us. But if you click the link, you can go to my two events on June 28th and 29th and sign up and we can see each other over Zoom, okay? I hope this helps. I hope you have a fabulous evening going into Memorial Day weekend, that you stay safe, that you stay healthy, and that you thrive. Remember, every day, expect miracles. Take care.